Put in the lobby, show me something, keep it soft and turn no Hey Rosette, so I am back with another hair video. I know you dolls have been telling me what you want to see. Different wigs, lace fronts, closures, full lace, 360s. Y'all have been bringing in the request, okay? So I am here to deliver. So today I will be reviewing a full lace wig this is from MissBuy.com. like i said in my previous video i am their brand brand ambassador right now so you will be seeing a lot of them on my channel however this is the full lace wig that i will be reviewing but before we get in the video do not forget to hit the subscribe button down below to join our lit rosette fam we would love to have you also do not forget to follow me on all my social media platforms that's instagram facebook snapchat and twitter all at yanny rose so if you want to become BFFs, then hit your girl up. So I hope you dolls are excited for this video. So let's get started. Alrighty, so like I said, this is a full lace wig. It does come with one, two, what is this? Three, three clips. So it's one clip like in the middle and then there's two clips on the side. Like I said, um, like I have said before, clips are if you have like braids or if you don't use like wig caps because of, of course you can't clip nothing on a wig cap. And if you want to know how I do the stocking cap method, I will leave um, a more detailed video down in the description box down below. So make sure you check that out. So I'm going to go ahead and show you dolls how I bleach the knots and how the wig came. Alrighty, so I hope you dolls learned a few tips and tricks on how to um, basically bleach your knots to, perfect, to perfection, get that orangey like brassy color out and you know, 
get your knots on a fleek <laughs> so right now i'm gonna take you all into the installation process so what i like to do any lace that's like as you can see it's like this weird like almost like a neutral like light tan shade which of course doesn't match my skin tone so a little trick that i do is either take some foundation or your face powder and put it onto the lace i don't put it all the way on the lace but i like to put it on the edges so wherever wherever the um lace is going to touch your skin so right now i'm just going to take my mac mineralized skin finish in dark and i like to take a flat top brush because it really helps push the product in so today i'm going to go in with my morphe e31 so normally i just put it on my hand like this and i really just work it in like that you really want to press it into that lace it's almost like you're tinting the lace but you know the easy way because some people like to boil their wigs and um color and honey we ain't got time we don't got time we're trying to get this wig slayed and laid in the least amount of time in the easiest way so as you can see now i don't know if you all can tell but as you can see i got the powder on the edge um a little trick that i've started doing is putting the wig on my head then cutting it so i can really cut it to fit my hairline and my head that way when it's time to actually glue it on it goes on seamlessly and it fits literally amazing sometimes i used to put it on the wig like a wig mannequin head and cut it on the head but it's like how are you gonna cut it on the head when the head don't match your head okay y'all y'all feel me y'all feel me so right now i'm just gonna go ahead and put it on my head if i get closer you dolls can see how like right here the knots really didn't bleach but right here it did so what i'm gonna do is when i'm cutting i'm gonna make sure i kind of cut that that bit off all right so i like to go in the middle so i just cut boom in the middle and i'm gonna cut some of this piece some of this um baby hair off because like i said it didn't really bleach that well but it doesn't matter because we're gonna pluck it a little bit you want to go like around your ear area you kind of want to go in like a curved motion and then i just like to go upwards just kind of around the ear like that like you want to create like a little flap but you don't want to take most you don't want to take um the, the hair off since you already got it cut you could just go ahead and um cut off the back piece and make sure you get as close as possible to the little band because it's going to look really good when it's like flat against your head and don't be afraid if you cut some like pieces of hair it's okay Alrighty, dolls so i'm going to go ahead and show you um, a technique that is really good for beginners and that is gluing your wig down then going in and plucking that way you can see where you need to pluck and how much you need to pluck so that is what I'm going to do right now I know a lot of people pluck before I always pluck before but this is another method that you can use if you're a beginner and you have a hard time plucking or seeing where you need to pluck and how much so we're just going to go ahead and glue it down I am um, going to go in with my gots to be gel in the yellow um container i'm going to use a rat tooth comb and yeah we're going to go ahead and glue this wig glue glue list <laughs> we're going to go ahead and glue this wig down and all right so i'm going to take my gots to be and i'm going to use a rat tail comb and what i'm going to do is just take a thin layer you want the thinnest layer you dolls because it's going to look so, trust me y'all it's gonna look so good like I've I've been the person that just slapped it on you know with my fingers and stuff also you don't want to use your fingers because the oils in your fingers will make the uh, gel less tacky so you want it to be super tacky that way it's gonna lay really really good because this is how you're gonna get it to really look like scalp okay hashtag uh, scalp queen and then I'm going to take this Salon Care Extra Whole Hairspray. I noticed that when I use hairspray for some reason because it's liquid, it really sinks into the um, like lace knots and the little holes. And it, it actually helps you really push the lace into your skin and melt into your skin. Hashtag meltdown. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and just spray one little layer across. That's all you need is one little layer across. 
and really kind of fan it with your hands like I said we're not gonna go in with any heat so what I like to do now I'm gonna get close 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 so what I like to do now I always like to start in the middle so I'm gonna push this back a little bit so you want to kind of eyeball it so when you fold it it should hit right there so I'm gonna gonna eyeball it a little bit all right that's perfect and I'm just gonna take my comb and apply light pressure. You can either do the pull method, I like to do this, so I just kinda pull down on one side and I literally kinda just press. I don't press all the way on it, but I press like right on the edge. So right now I'm gonna use the pull method again. I'm gonna take it and kinda pull it down and then we're gonna press it in. Alrighty dolls, so it's secure. It's really, on. well, it's like a few little pieces that may like lift up because that just means it wasn't enough gel. But don't worry, once we're done plucking, we'll kind of go back in and add a little bit more gel or a little bit more setting spray where some pieces may have lifted up. Here's a corn bag. It's gonna help your plucking process and it's gonna be super easy. So I like to pluck in sections. So I do four sections. So I like to do the side areas and then the middle part. So the side areas, you want to pluck more because most people like sideburn areas are a little thinner than the middle part of their head. Where for me, that's how it is. So I'm just gonna go in with my tweezers and we're gonna get the plucking. I'm gonna show you one side and then the middle and then I'll do the other side off the camera. So what I'm gonna do now just start plucking backwards so you want to pluck like this so as you can see I'm grabbing I'm grabbing and pulling backwards and this is plucking pretty good so it shouldn't take you like forever and I'm gonna pluck down this sideburn a little bit because I don't want it super thick so again you want to pluck the edge and don't worry about the white because you're gonna gonna show you dolls how to fix that as well. So you kind of want to just keep repeating this process until you you feel like it looks you know the most natural. You just want to change it up. You don't want to keep plucking in the same direction. That is how you create ball spots, <laughs> and that is not the look that you want to go for, sis. So this. Well, hairline is really thick so it may take you a little longer it normally takes me about 20 minutes to pluck a full like all the way across because I do five minutes five minutes five minutes five minutes so now I'm just kind of getting that extra gel out so I can really see how it's um, starting to pluck because that white can kind of like sway you from what's going on honey just want to make sure we're on the right track here. Oh yeah, that see that looks good. This side looks crazy. So I'm gonna go ahead and complete the this side, and I will be right back. Alrighty, dolls. So I'm done with both sides. So it looks really, really natural. Looks really, really good. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put it in a half up, half down. But I want to show you, dolls how good it looks as far as parting goes so look at that part it looks so good like it bleached so well besides like the front part but it looks so good look at that it looks so natural so good so you can pretty much part it anywhere it goes all the way back because it's a full lace so I'm going to do a little um, little bun really quick and I'll be right back. Alrighty dolls, so this is the finished look. As you can see, it looks super natural. And since, let me show you dolls the parting. Parting looks really, really natural. So you can wear this um, hairstyle 
or this wig in so many different ways i just put it in a little bun here you can wear it half up half down and this wig is wavy however i just brushed it out you know because i like it i like big hair you know boom <laughs> So you can wear it in so many different styles. If you want a styling video, just please let me know in the comment section down below. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Again, if you want to know more about this wig, then check the description the box down below. Give this video a big thumbs up, you know, if you enjoyed this video. And yeah, I will see you in my next one. Love you dolls.